Over here, Yagami-san! Sorry to drag you all the way up here for this. You wanted to talk to me? About Mikoshiba-sensei? What? I can't hear a word you're saying, man. Why don't you come closer so we don't have to shout? Yeah, let's get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> So many of you. You guys all know Mikoshiba-sensei? Nah, that's not how our senpai friends roll. They know the Yokohama Liumon. Yokohama Liumon? You mean the local gang? Hell yeah. I've got a friend who's in deep with those guys. I scratch their back by bringing them chicks to hang out with, and they scratch mine by tipping me for it. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet deal, actually. Also, We've got a little thing going. I get to drop the Liumong name if I need him to handle some business. So you sell them girls in exchange for honorary membership? You need to find better friends. Don't talk to me like you know me. I stay on their good side and I get my personal bodyguards. I work with the tools I've got to get to the top. So you got it all figured out, don't you, kid? But you're missing the big picture. They're gonna turn the table so fast you won't know what hit you. I'll keep that in mind, but I wouldn't worry about me right now. You're the one who's got the real problem on his hands. You get it? From now on, if you even lay a finger on us, you offend the Yokohama Liumang, and they'll take that personally. You see what deep shit you're in here, Yagami-san? So how about it? You know how to say you're sorry? Cash for our pain and suffering. Oh yeah? How much are we talking here? Grand? A mill. If you're short, I'd be happy to hook you up with a loan shark. I know a guy who lends for the Seiryu clan Yakuza. First it's gang, now it's the Yakuza. Keep bringing adult shit into this, I'm gonna start treating you like one. Huh? You wanna see what happens to gang members? I'll show you. You sure you wanna do that? We're gonna charge you extra. Oh, you got this shit down, Matsui. Let's take this asshole down! Fuck him up! Did he just jump off? Nah. He's just hiding in the dark. Like a scared little cockroach. You guys go look for him and tell me when you find him. I'm going for a smoke. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> 
You got this in the bag. Uh, Senpai, what do we do? You guys follow me. <laughs> we'll all smoke together till we get an update. Sure, I'll come with. Senpai's the toughest around, and the coolest. Ah, well, all for my adorable little underlings. Tastes good, senpai? Smoking a cigarette in the classroom? <laughs> so you came all this way just to get your ass kicked. Hey, Akane! Go get the other senpais! Uh, okay, I'm on it. You guys better watch out. If your teacher busts you smoking, won't you get in big trouble? On the other hand, you guys could use a lesson in manners, and I'd be happy to teach you. Huh? What the hell? Bastard! So this is where you were hiding! <laughs> now what? 
And that mouth of yours won't get you out of this. I'm taking you down! Don't give me that smug look. He's a maniac. He's too good at this, man. Hey. You mentioned compensation for pain and suffering. Uh, that still sound like a good idea? No! We were just being stupid! C could you maybe forget all that? Then from here on out, we're buds. Right? Ow! Ow my shoulder! Holy shit, that hurts, Yagami-san! Tell me everything you know about Mikoshiba. After all, you guys were pretty close, right? Mikoshiba Sensei showed up to practice, like, basically every day. Kind of a pain in the ass, if I'm being honest. As soon as our coach would leave, it's like a switch would flip and he'd start drilling us. He'd make us do, like, ten sets of cross-court dashes. And if even one of us lagged behind, it meant ten more. For all of us. That made it obvious real quick. Koda was our weakest link. So Mikoshiba was especially harsh on her, then? Yeah, cause she's such a freaking klutz. Even the first years got sick of her eventually. Only thing she did right was unite the team against her. You gang up and belittle a single defenseless girl, a beginner in your sport, and you call that unity. Real classy. Listen up. Mikoshiba's parents have reported him missing. Foul play could be in the works here. He's been gone for far too long. Hey, you think maybe Koda did it? Some kind of crime of passion? This isn't the time for bullshit. Or you want to keep going? Uh, nope. I'll pass. Have you talked to Sawa Sensei yet? He probably knows Mikoshiba Sensei better than anyone. All she told me was how exemplary he was, both as a student and a student teacher. And that he looked out for you guys, out of some sort of camaraderie. Huh? She really talked him up that good? Why, something off about that? Uh, it's just... 
Sawa Sensei was really cold to him, no matter what he'd do. I actually brought that up to him one day. And it turns out the rumors were right. Rumors? Back when Mikoshiba Sensei was a student, one of his classmates apparently committed suicide. And Sawa Sensei suspected him of bullying the kid. I don't think he ever really got past that. He'd get all depressed sometimes. Really? Sawa Sensei thought Mikoshiba was a bully? Oh, yeah. I actually asked him about it once, but he just laughed it off. I teach English, and that's what I was focused on. So, as far as I knew, Mikoshiba kun was a good student with solid grades back then. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. What did she really think about Mikoshiba? I'll have to press her on it. Hi there. Has Sawa Sensei gone home? Actually, she's in a meeting with the chairman. So then she's at his office? Yes, but I think they may have some visitors. Gotcha. Thanks. Suspicious.
Kyagami-san. Those men are with the Kanagawa police. They said they're here to make inquiries about Mika Shibakun's disappearance. And they asked to see Sawa-sensei too? Yes. But I have to ask, can you tell me what's really going on? You were asking questions about Miku Shibukun as well. I should leave it to the police to fill you in on that. I mean, their sources are probably more recent than mine. They should have the latest details. Miku Shibukun is... no longer with us, is he? Then it's just as I feared.